What is it about Daniel that fires you up so much? There's a guy on my mind. I'm going to be the champion eventually. They can't stand each other. I would much rather go down to 205 and fight John Jones. They don't respect each other. John Jones, no matter where you go, boy, I'm coming. It doesn't get any more real than these two. I challenge you to break me. Hey, pussy, are you still there? I'm going to make him my wife. You're the fucking scum of the earth. You are a terrible human being, but you can sure turn it on. Yo, DC, you suck. You felt so weak. I wish they would let me next door so I could spit in your Face. I'm gonna win, Kenny. Like, I mean, I am going to win. I guarantee you, I'm going to beat this guy. I swear to God, I have to fight my hands not to just grab him by the neck and choke his ass again. God, I hate that kid. I actually admire that you can actually be this fake. I embody the spirit of the martial artist, the heart of the martial artist, what it truly means to be a martial artist. John, you hear that, John? There is nothing you can do to stop me from coming at you round after round with the most malicious techniques I know. You will lose this fight, Daniel Cormier. I want you to believe it. These people cheer for me and they don't even like me. They just hate John Jones. a number of times like people can't even imagine and uh this is no different um, this is not gonna this is not gonna ruin me you know one way or the other i'm gonna stand across the cage from that man again ufc light heavyweight champion john bones jones has entered a drug rehab center after testing positive for cocaine john jones left the rehab facility after just one night dude i wonder if this is that fighter's car we just found out what the facts are you're not going to jail tonight for reckless driving for what for, for reckless, reckless driving. driving yeah right john bones jones turned himself in this morning breaking news just in fox sports one the ufc has stripped john jones of his light heavyweight title jones is stripped of his light heavyweight title ufc star john bones jones is being suspended and stripped of his championship title. These guys are human beings and, and people make mistakes. Is there a chance that he might never return? I don't know. We'll see what happens. John Jones got stripped of his title and suspended indefinitely by the UFC. The two best fighters in that division now fight for the UFC light heavyweight championship of the world. Champion of the world, Daniel DC. Joe Rogan, no disrespect to you, but I have a message for one man. John Jones, get your together. I'm waiting for you. He's a beast, man. You got to respect that. Yeah, I love that guy. Me too. He's, he's, a, he's a great guy. guy. He's just, 
he's in the era of John Jones, you know, and he lost and to John it. in his first fight. And he's also dealing with the fact that John, although I love John too, John's a fuck up, you know, and so he's got to sort of be there while John keeps fucking up. And then a lot of it comes back to him. I don't feel that people give enough respect to DC for the fact that he's not fucking up. Right. And now it's time for our main event of the evening as Daniel Cormier faces Alexander Gustafson. Here we go! Good shots by These Cormier. These are hard, hard uppercuts by DC. Ooh, nice uppercut. Hard uppercut by Gustafson. He hurt him with the right hand. He hurt him. Outstanding. And still! First of all, John, how does it feel to be getting back into the octagon, fighting for a title, not the title that you wanted, but at least an interim title? Man, it feels so great to be back. I miss this game so much. And now, the interim UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones! I don't think I want that belt. It's not the real belt. I want, my, uh, I want my actual belt back. I didn't think we saw the best Jones, but he won 50-44 on the scorecard. So even at his, when he's not as, at his best, he can dominate one of the top 10 fighters in the world. So I'm not trying to you know his performance. You know, he, he just wasn't the guy that I fought last January. He wasn't the guy that, that, that beat all these other people. As a competitor, I want to fight the best, and I want him to be at his best. So if he needed this fight to get back in the form, then... That's good. All right, UFC 200, the champ and the interim champ, Cormier versus John Jones 2. Probably be my easiest fight. That after makes what sense. I saw. <laughs> after what I saw last week, it's going to be sense. light work. Go All right. It's going to be light work. All right. Yeah. Where's Cam Velasquez? Daniel needs another hug. No, I don't need a hug. It made you cry in front of the world. Hey, that, that has passion. Been waiting for these cameras to stop. Shut the fuck up. I can't stand you. Outside of me, he's the next best thing. You know what I mean? He, he can beat these other guys. He can't beat me. You're a bum. Listen, last time I, I foot swept you, held my hand on your head like you're my bitch. They hate each other. There, there is zero manufacturing in this. To him, it's a game. This is no game to me. I'm here to kick his ass on Saturday. anti-doping agency has informed John Jones of a potential anti-doping policy violation. I wouldn't take anything that that would um, enhance my game like too like I wouldn't cheat but it's just not who I am. So a lot of people got together and, and pulled this thing off. Anderson went through all his medicals, passed with flying colors and he is here and he will fight uh, Daniel Cormier Saturday on UFC 200. First of all, DC, congratulations. This is a very difficult fight for you to take on such short notice. Give us your thoughts on the fight and how it went down. I've been training for a specific guy for eight weeks. The guy gets out of the competition. I fight Anderson Silva. And I mean, I, I did what I had to do. And still, Daniel Cormier has done it. Boomy. I'm getting money in championship belts. What's up? Also in the room, of course, who is John Jones? Who? Who? Is that guy even eligible to fight yet? He's right there. But is he eligible to fight yet? A couple months from now. Don't, don't talk to me about a guy that's ineligible. When you get your together and you're ready to fight, I'm here waiting for you, young man. You know it. I'm so happy to be back. Expect fireworks. It's going to be a great fight. Just a second ago, we almost went at it back uh, behind the curtain, so... Don't mention my kids. Hey, I don't know who you think you're playing with. An hour ago, John called me the lamest, biggest... 
he had ever met in his entire life. No, you are the biggest that I've ever seen. He's looking at his superior, and he just can't handle it. Superior? Yeah. You have lost your mind, son. Oh, yeah. You have lost your mind. Yeah. He never beat me. So the belt that he has over there, it's an imaginary belt. He's a bitch. He's a bitch. Is this guy going to mess this up again by doing steroids or snorting cocaine or sandblasting prostitutes? I beat you after a weekend of cocaine. I have, to, I have nothing to prove to you. You just so happen to be the person who's holding on to my championship. Daddy's home to pick it up. What's this guy going to do to mess this up this time? Come on, see? You have no room to judge nobody. You sit there with your fucking mouth shut before I walk over there and smack the shit out of you. He's rotten at his core and he'll continue to I, I don't give a damn if John Jones. I don't care what happens with him. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. For me, there's only one. You see, and that's, that's, that's the difference. It's only him. Let's go! I don't want to play no more. I don't want to talk anymore. I want to fight. This time, I'm not going to tire. I'm not going to let you hold me against the fence. I'm going to be in your face pressing you, trying to rip your head off every second of that fight. This is my life, and I'm willing to die to beat you. Be prepared to do that. The fight was crazy shocking how violent the ending was. I went over the rules in the back. I want you to protect yourself at all times. I want you to listen to my instructions at all times. I want you to fight hard, but fight clean. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Good. Step back. Good luck. Oh, looked like he knocked the mouthpiece out. He did. Huge Big job. Picked it up. To work. Nice. He's not able to. Oh. He caught Big punches landed by DC. He's hanging on the head of Jones, looking for uppercuts, knees. There they are. There's the uppercut he likes. Cormier continues to press forward here. Nice trip to the body by John. Cormier once again sends Jones retreating. He's just having a hard time reaching John. Oh, John landed behind him. He's hurt. DC was stuck by that head kick. Jones trying to press the issue here. Cormier is down. Trouble. And John is all over him. Here comes Johnny Bones with the ground and pound. Cormier. That be it. Trying to sit He's out. He's out. He's out. John Jones has done it. When John landed that fucking head kick, and you saw him moving in for the kill, and then he, he stopped him right in front of us. He got on top of him and just blasted him. It was like right there. <laughs> Made it back, man. Man. Man, such a beautiful moment. Man, I did a lot of right things to get back in this position. Man, I tell you what, man. Anybody at home let yourself down. You let your family down. You let your peers down, your co-workers down. You let yourself down. It's never over. As long as you never quit, it's never over. I'm back here. Man. Oh, yeah. Man, thank you guys. Thank you all. Everybody. support. I know it hasn't been easy to root for me, but I've had the most loyal fans ever. I love you all. Thank you so much. Even the haters, all the negativity, all the discouraging things that was said. I love you guys too because you guys motivated me and pushed me to just keep fighting and to prove you all wrong. So I love you all. I know this was an incredible moment for you. It was very emotional. What, what can you say at all about this and the rivalry between you and John? I don't know, man. I guess if you win both fights, there is no rivalry, so I, I don't know. Thank you for everything, Daniel. What John Jones accomplished tonight is incredible. I beat him fair and square the first time and uh, off of steroids, and I beat him the second time uh, off of steroids. It takes time to get over something that's so big especially when you're unsuccessful in such a big event. But, you know, day by day, you get better. You keep fighting, you keep learning that there are things that are much more important uh, than the competition. He is a different person than he was uh, in the past. Uh, with that being said, friendship would be very difficult for us to achieve because of our history. Why don't you just go ahead questions? and play it out? We, uh, we were notified by the United States Anti-Doping Agency late this afternoon of a potential anti-doping violation 
uh, John Jones. John Jones uh, tested positive for Tarinabal from a sample the day before your guys fight, of course, at UFC 214 in July. I can't believe it. I still can't believe it. We'll see how this thing plays out, but yeah, it's bad. You can't fail drug tests. You can pass 100 tests. You cannot fail one. And they're saying uh, we have to wait for the due process, but what are we waiting for? He disqualified himself by taking a steroid before the fight, so it didn't happen. So now uh, I get the belt back, which is the right thing to do. And I'm not only saying that because it's me. It's the right thing to do. Joey, I've been through a lot. I go through a lot of stuff, man, and it's because of my greatest rival, but it feels good to get back in here and, and get a victory. You know, I've lost twice to John Jones. As I came into this fight, I said, I felt as though I was fighting for a vacant title again because he beat me last time. And I fought for a vacant title, and I got the job done, so I'm the UFC champion again. I proved that I am worthy of being called champion. Determined that uh, former UFC light heavyweight champion John Jones would only be uh, serving out basically time served at this point, a 15 month suspension. John Jones is back. He was supposed to be getting a four year suspension and it's been shortened to 15 months. You saw to said they believe Jones wasn't intentionally cheating. I guess uh, now his suspension's up. So we'll see what happens. So. This weekend's fight is moving from Las Vegas to Los Angeles. Regarding John Jones, there has been no violation of the anti-doping program. He is cleared to fight in terms of the USADA program. Whatever this guy's saying, it's just he's, he's just terrible, man. This guy is terrible, I'm telling you. He's terrible. Why Why have you tested now? Positive. Uh, next question, please. Thank you. You suck. Better journalism. USADA's not going to put their reputation and their business on the line for one fight or one guy. We would never put anything on the line for one fight or one guy. So we moved it, we're here. This is how we work, man, this is what we do. a guy who's been calling himself champ champ what guy just gives up his belt because somebody else made it home daddy's home dc get your belt back i'll be waiting right here he gave his belt up that makes no sense he knows he can't beat me again so uh if you want some he can come get some at the light heavyweight division you know, dc uses every platform every opportunity he gets to try to discredit my achievements and so the only achievement i want to discredit of his is the claim to be in the light heavyweight champion he never was a light heavyweight champion. I beat him twice, and I'm going to beat him again a third time if he wants to prove that he's a champ champ. Daniel Cormier is the man. It is not time to hang it up. He's got a few more fights left in him. And uh, he hit me up tonight, and he said he's ready to roll. He's, he wants to fight. <laughs> 